Alright guys, Graham here and today we're gonna do another boot cleaning and conditioning video. Let's do it. Alright guys, so let's start this process and uh, today's boot will be my Red Wing Iron Ranger 8114s and this one has the black harness leather and uh, with this type of leather I'm going to use this product or this product and uh, typically I use uh, uh, my Obina for my dark uh, uh, leather boots and then uh, but today I'm gonna try Red Wings uh, leather conditioner and also uh, I will use my Lexo uh, leather cleaner uh, so most of the time I only use uh, water to clean my boots and uh, yeah since I have this you know I'm gonna let's use it today so first things first, let's uh, unlace our boot. And as you can see guys, I'm using uh, a shoe, regular shoe 3 for my boots. Just to you know, keep the moisture out and uh, keep that you know, keep them in shape. So let's uh, dust them first. Make sure you know, make, make sure before you apply anything, uh, the leather has to be clean, of course. As you can see, there's uh, some dust and soil here. That guys and, and let's see in the end if we can uh, we can fix that uh, that um, stain right there though I don't mind uh, having those scars and scuffs but let's see if uh, the conditioner can cover uh, those scratches Yeah, so make sure all the uh, those all the corners are clean and dusted. So next is to apply the leather cleaner. So I'm just going to use a tiny piece of cotton here. just basically clean the ladder first to remove any dirt and oil You can see guys I just applied the uh, the leather cleaner. It's nothing fancy there, just apply and and clean the leather. And these are not dre expensive dress boots or dress shoes. So I'll just do it like this kind of kind of quick you know quick clean and wipe down all 
uh, one small tip guys uh, since I um, I like having those uh, you know white stitching um, stay white uh, I would be careful putting some uh, you know chemicals or solution or cleaning cleaning stuff like the Lexol that might darken them so just be careful uh, not to uh, not to not to touch those uh, during the process. Uh, you can probably uh, clean this with a you know toothbrush toothpaste, you know cleaning toothpaste or something like that. But by doing that, you might uh, probably uh, um, unintentionally um, remove the uh, conditioner or. Um, you know conditioner or oil on the leather and so just reapply it on this area if you decided to clean the stitches stitching here so yep uh, let's wait until until it gets dry and then I'm gonna do this the other one first and and I'll be back Alright guys, so I'm done with the other booth and they are dry, so let us now apply the uh, Red Wing All Natural Leather Conditioner. And uh, as you can see with on my other video, uh, I like to use just my hands when applying the, uh, the uh, conditioner. And uh, yep. So far, this one is uh, a little thicker than as far as consistency is concerned. It's a little st stickier than the up and off. So yeah, let's start here on the toolbox section. Again, guys, I'll be a little careful not uh, touching the the white stitching here that's why I like to use my my hands if you can have more control yeah so far guys yeah it's a little I, I, I can feel it you can it's a little thicker and sticky you can always use a cloth if you, if you want to so just kind of glide your fingers and grab some of the uh, conditioner then you kind of you can melt it with your hands with your fingers before applying it to make it more easier to apply section okay yeah, guys uh, I use, usually do this about once a year you know, just to make sure that my my leather boots my leather boots are protected And the one thing that you will notice with the leather, um, this kind of uh, leather products uh, that contain uh, beeswax and some mint oil, it will give uh, some uh, shine on your leather goods compared to uh, the big four. Uh, it's almost like a matte. Uh, finish after applying it this one is almost empty so I'm not gonna 
use it in, on this one and also I use this one like I've said on my you know uh, light colored leather goods leather boots for my darker ones I use uh, the Lexo I use the oven off and now this one because it will definitely darken the leather a little bit which I don't mind since they are already dark or they do have a darker shade already so far so good they look a little shiny or they are shiny so I'm not sure if it will be stay like this after wiping them or, and you know drying them Let's see it's again guys it's my first time using uh, the Red Wing all leather or all natural leather conditioner but since it's made by Red Wing for Red Wing boots it should be fine I mean, most leather products should be fine. I mean, it should be better than than nothing. Because some folks, you know, tend to forget uh, taking care of their boots or their leather goods. So, Anything is better than nothing, I guess. So, just again, guys, it's a little, it's a little hard to apply compared to the big four. Of course, that one is uh, in a liquid form, and this one is uh, like a paste. It's almost like a thicker petroleum jelly consistency and we're almost done on this boot let's just finish it this part just want to make sure that you don't miss any any spots okay make sure everything is covered by this uh, leather protecting product as you can see guys they look so sharp they're shiny some folks uh, are advising to kind of kind of heat up the leather like open the pores some folks after doing this they do uh, uh, apply or, or give them like a blow dry to kind of melt the uh, kind of open the the leather pores and then melt the the paste the leather but uh, I think that's too much for me so I'll just do this simple this simple uh, task which is uh, one to dust them and then clean them with water or in my case a leather cleaner and then apply the uh, conditioner Let's keep it simple, right guys? I'm not sure if uh, there's a you know difference or a big difference between doing that, you know, the blowing and and uh, opening the pores and this one. But like I said guys, anything is better than nothing, right? Like this right. So yeah, let's apply a little bit more here. Let's 
So yeah, guys, these are the uh, the black harness. Um, I, uh, to be honest, I don't usually wear them that much, or I don't wear them that often. But uh, but whenever I wear them, you know, you you have that feeling like, whoa, this they look they look nice. Why? And they look nice. It's, uh, it's like I should wear them all that often. Something like that, you know. Maybe because after wearing a lot of uh, brown the uh, brown boots, you know, whenever you wear this uh, color, this black harness color, you're like, wow. I remember those. Uh, High school days where you were, you were wearing Doc Martens, you know that kind of nostalgia, nostalgic feeling. So yep, so I think this guy is uh, good to go. Let's just uh, wait for a few minutes. Maybe just put them under the sun to have that uh, you know opening pores. Uh, effect and then we're gonna wipe them down and see the final outcome so I'm gonna do the other the other pair and uh, let's finish let's finish it all right guys so we're back so I did the same thing on the other boot and I put them under the Sun for about 20 minutes to kind of melt the the leather the leather uh, conditioner so it says on the instruction here to repeat it with a second coat but what I'm going to do is just to you know spread the kind of spread the leather a little bit more instead of applying a second coat because I've noticed that after uh, putting them under the Sun um, the weather uh, I mean the the thick uh, conditioner leather conditioner kind of melted on the uh, on the leather so so what I'm gonna do doing or so what I'm doing right now is to just kind of spread the melted conditioner because I don't want to over over apply the conditioner on my boots so just uh, spread it all over You, I don't. I've, I don't know if I'm not sure if the camera can capture it, but you can. You can see that the leather melted. I mean that the conditioner melted a little bit. It feels like uh, it is more fluid now because of because it melted. So it's easier, basically easier to to apply. So it's just me, guys. Uh, but per Red Wing, you have to uh, repeat it with a second coat. But like I've said, just just spread it out. Maybe a little bit here. I've noticed that as it dried out a little bit here so I'm applying a light uh, coat of uh, the conditioner yeah definitely dried out in this part so 
why I'm applying a little bit of this guys right now. Huh? Maybe that's why Red Wing is uh, advising to to do a second coat because there's a tendency of uh, you know, of the leather like uh, kind of absorbing the uh, conditioner, and that's a good thing, I guess. Remember, guys. Remember, guys, that. Uh, this one is basically a skin right and you're just applying a, a lotion like a lotion or in this case a conditioner to keep the skin the leather from drying so yep just uh, I'm doing I'm, I am now doing a second coat on this part because I just feel like it dried out a little bit but the rest of the boot uh, I just uh, you know, spread out the, uh, the the melted conditioner so yep uh, we're pretty much done here what I'm going to do now is to uh, uh, kind of wipe off the excess leather conditioner just a quick uh, wipe down guys I think you have to do this um, to avoid uh, at attracting dirt in your shoes because remember guys this one is like a sticky uh, material chemical so it will definitely attract dust and dirt if you're not gonna wipe them down like this kind of dry them there you go so let's put the laces on to lacing guys this is how I do it not sure if the camera can it's like from from the top to bottom my right, guys from the top and then down the or outer and then inside I think that's the right word. That's the right wording. Uh, Out and in. And thank God they do have the uh, speed hook, so so easy to lace them. And, and down, and let's do the other one quick. Yeah, guys so my advice is to take care of your boots and do this at least at least once a year guys you don't have to do it all that often you don't have to overdo it and as you can see I only use a you know, tiny tiny of this conditioner so this should last you if you only have one or two pairs of boots this should last you two to three years you know so and uh, you you don't have to use uh, the leather uh, brand conditioner 
you can use uh, on and off like this one or any any other leather uh, protecting products okay and that's that's it guys so here they are Red Wing 8114 black harness leather So here they are guys Nice and shiny 8114s All right guys, I hope you like that video. Hit like and subscribe. Stay safe and healthy and I'll see you on the next one.